हमारे चैनल में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप हमें बताइए इस फिल्म के बारे में जो कि रिलीज हो रही है थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर हैविंग मी हमारी फिल्म मैत बापू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड अप्रैल को रिलीज़ हो रही है दिस मूवी इज़ अबाउट द फादर एंड सन रिलेशनशिप आई डोट टॉक मोर अ लॉट अबाउट द द मूवी बिकॉज दैन दैट किल्स द पर्पज लेकिन जो मूवी है वो इट्स इट्स अ जर्नी ऑफ ऑफ अ फादर एंड द सन हाउ दे हाउ दे आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच अदर अ लॉर टाइम्स वट हैपन घर में परिवार में हम किसी के साथ बहुत साल तक रहते हैं लेकिन अपने दिल की बात नहीं किसी के साथ शेयर करते एंड वो जो एक हिचकिचाहट होती है वो जो एक पर्दा होता है भले ही वो भाई भाई में हो फादर सन में हो मदर डॉटर में हो वो हमेशा रहता है वहाँ पे तो रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द योर रिलेशनशिप आप उन्हें कितना भी प्यार करते हो लेकिन कई बार हम अपने दिल की बात नहीं उनसे करते सो आई थिंक दैट्स द जर्नी ऑफ दिस फिल्म दैट्स द सब टेक्सट ऑफ द फिल्म and i feel that the message or the story or the emotion in this film is universal so ye punjabi film hai lekin iski jo jo story hai jo narrative hai jo emotion hai wo bada universal hai so i'm really looking forward by ye pur ko film aari hai aap sab zarur dekhein dekhein sorry jaise aapke is film mein aapke dad bhi ek bahut hi mukhya bhumika nibha rahe hain ji वो डिफ़िकल्ट नहीं था क्योंकि माई माई फादर इज़ एन एक्टर तो वो जब हम छोटे होते थे तो वो एक्ट भी करते थे डायरेक्ट भी करते थे तो हमने उन्हें देख देख के ही हम बड़े हुए हैं तो आई न्यू दैट माई फादर कुड डू दिस एंड सो कन्विंसिंग हिम वॉज इट अ प्रॉब्लम इट वॉज जस्ट ड्यूरिंग कोविड आई वॉज जस्ट वरिड कि शुड आई बी एक्सपोजिंग माई फादर टू द सेट्स फॉर अ मंथ बट बिकॉज ही वॉज सो कॉन्फिडेंट ही वॉज लाइक कुछ नहीं होगा एंड उन उनका जो जो नेचर है वो बड़ा प्यारा है तो जो भी उन्हें मिलता है वो उनको गले लगा के मिलते हैं प्यार से मिलते हैं तो कोविड में तो हम किसी को टच भी नहीं करते थे तो आई वॉज अल वर्ड बट वो बहुत कॉन्फिडेंट थे तो उनके कॉन्फिडेंस से हम सबको कॉन्फिडेंट आ कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया सो द शूट वेंट रियली वेल एंड देर वॉज नथिंग दैट आई कुड इवन द सीन्स दैट आई पर्सनली वुडेंट हैव डन विद माई डैड और अगर मैं ये फिल्म डायरेक्ट कर रहा होता तो शायद मैं कुछ ना भी शूट करता ही वॉज विलिंग टू डू एवरी थिंग सो ही सरेंडर्ड टू द डायरेक्टर्स एंड ही डिड अ वेरी गुड जॉब एंड आई एम रियली लुकिंग फॉर्वर्ड टू द मूवी वैसे अगर बात की जाए ऑफ स्क्रीन की तो इसमें संजीदा जी और रश्मिता जी भी हैं तो कितने मस्ती भरे पल लगे या कितना कुछ यू नो ऊपर नीचे प्राइज काइंड ऑफ थिंग आम संजीदा इज एन अमेजिंग आर्टिस्ट आई थिंक ड्यूरिंग सेट्स इवन द फर्स्ट डे वन आई मेट संजीदा वो बिल्कुल वट्स द राइट वर्ड वो मैं हिंदी में नहीं पढ़ा ओपरा ने बिल्कुल भी फील किया लाइक शी वॉज शी वॉज फन शी वॉज टॉकिंग टू एवरी बडी शी इज़ अ वेरी ईजी टू वर्क विद आर्टिस्ट एंड शी इज़ वेरी यू नो शी इज़ प्योर एट हार्ट शी शी कैरीज अ वेरी पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड सो वॉज फन वर्किंग विद संजीदा मैन वी लाफ वील टॉक एंड इवन विन सम ऑफ द मंटाज इज वेर वी आर ईटिंग वी आर एक्टिव जस्ट हैविंग अ नॉर्मल कॉन्वर्सेशन and uh, sangeeta ma'am has been my father's colleague in university she uh, both my parents ma work in the university and sangeeta oh sorry sangeeta ma'am also worked in university so they knew each other and my father had done plays with her in the past so they were also colleagues so it was very easy between four of us to work even though we didn't have a lot of scenes that we did together बट जितना भी था बहुत फन था पीपल एंजॉयड एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस जैसे अगर म्यूजिक की बात की जाए तो आपका मेन करियर स्टार्ट हुआ है म्यूजिक के साथ जिसका इस पहली इसी फिल्म का गाना पहली मुलाकात जो कि आज रिलीज हो चुका है हाँ जी एंड uh, वो देखने में यू नो चारों की केमिस्ट्री भी अलग दिख रही है सर हाउ इज दैट काइंड ऑफ शो फीलिंग करना कैसे आप लोगों ने वो सब इट इट वॉज फन माई आई इनिशली स्टार्ट माई करियर एज एन एक्स्ट्रा I used to be an extra in movies. And then I started doing very small characters, small cameos. Then I became a director, and I did over a hundred, hundred and fifty music videos. So, during the shoot, there, there, uh, even in Pehli Mulaqat, there is a scene where I'm on the phone, and the camera, you know, follows me, and I, 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 I
with his uh, his um, love interest and wo mujhko dekh ke phone wo that was the montage that i designed i initially wanted the whole movie to be like that there are two parallel love stories going on but then again i'm not the director of the film so it was in my call lekin it was it, it was fun watching my fa- uh, my father and do a romantic song my mother was there so it was a fun experience I think even the movies that I did before um the songs were um successful I think uh, the movies that I've done before were um, um, had major box office collections all over India so I I don't think it it it's the first time that uh, music would have touched pan India but at the same time yes I do feel that when you have an association with someone who brings their uh, forte to your forte and work together i feel when two strong forces collaborate together equally that gives a very positive and strong uh, result and i'm really looking forward to this well, it's a completely different kind of initiative by just music you know because today's date it's very difficult to you know take anything to this kind of level because everyone is creating something or the other the competition is very what do you have you know view on that um see this is my fifth film and uh, some of the films that i've done before e- even the music have um has been um successful as i said before so for us it wasn't really hard to sort of get somebody to get the um rights or acquire the rights so this might be um uh, a problem for the new um content creators since there are a lot of um the since there's a lot of competition as you said but at the same time with more content creators there are more opportunities as well so with the new age ott platform social media i feel what happens is the content creators and the companies they get on a very strategic level collab together and for newcomers there are new platforms every single day developing and that's also very strategic placement for new content creators there are new platforms for you know let's say for 5 year old content creator there's somebody who is a little bit more experienced than the new new platform so i feel people are smart with their business and i think it it the new age you know there are less barriers there are less people who could connect talent to audience because talent and audience has already connected so when a third party comes in they could only mediate and make it bigger and that's how collaborations work and i think i really hope this collaboration works and does great well coming down to your film again uh, the poster seems very interesting when you are actually pulling a dance <laughs> Were there such instances all over the film, or he was pretty strict to you that you know, no. oh, don't do that, or you know? I was pulling his leg more than I was pulling his cheek. Uh, the whole movie is, it is fun and games. It's about pranks. It's about two individuals like having a go at each other. So I think the whole poster came from that energy. There's a huge chunk in this movie where everybody's playing pranks on each other. So I really um, hope that people watch it and enjoy it. I'm looking forward to the 22nd. and your father seem to be jealous a lot more smaller than you know normal yeah. <laughs> uh, son and uh, uh, father relationships are what was your mom's reaction towards this oh, yeah kya hua my yeah they <laughs> see my mom has been a theater actor as well and my mom has always been um with my father um doing plays and theater so it wasn't a shock for her but i wanted it to be a shock so i could annoy my father but it didn't really happen but i really hope she gets a little jealous while watching the movie <laughs> can you kind of uh, share some instances or some interesting uh, bits and tips from the offscreen that must be a prank what kind of prank do you can do um yeah there's this uh, there's a song akkad bakkad 
which wasn't really meant to be a song. So what happened was there's this scene where the father and son get into a physical fight. And it was basically just a symbolic shot where I was going to put Atta on my father's face and we were going to cut it to the next scene. So the DOP uh, put wide ang angle lens, the right in the middle there's this partition and there was a hundred frames um, shot where I come in and I threw Atta on my father. My father took the cue and he went back and he came back with something and threw it back at me. And because I knew it's 100 frame, the camera is not going to read my lips and it's a wide angle lens. I went running back and I was like, Dad, keep going. So I saw there was this um, uh, prop where there was gobi, mutter, alu, like all the sabji. And I brought back the sabji and I started throwing sabji at my father. My father went back and our spot is sitting there and there's a tray of eggs. My father brings back the tray, throws at me. I went back and I saw a dabba full of protein powder that I was drinking. I pulled back the dabba, threw it at my father. So the whole thing just kept going. And uh, my father, like, we, I don't even remember all these things. And we just kept throwing shit at each other. And towards the end of the, of the, um, in the shot, I sat down and I saw a pack of chips. Because I threw everything that was next to the spot. Like everything. And so I opened the pack and I started eating chips and I offered it to my dad. And he started eating and I threw the chips and I start, continued and the shot ended. And by the, end of the, uh, by the end of the shot, the whole set was a mess. It was dirty, my father was filled with atta and shit and I don't know what that he threw at me. I was the stinking. So I took a shower, I came back and we shot, saw the scene, it was super funny. So I, uh, I told my director that I want to keep this whole scene. He's like, well, we don't have a room for this because it won't be as, as exciting to have one scene with music for a minute. I was like, just take it to the editing table, put some beats on it, ramp the whole sequence and give it back to me. So a month later, he sent me back and he put a reference music to it. And I saw it and I was like, uh, and I was like, Akkad Bakkad. Because what generally happens is, uh, have you played Akkad Bakkad? Do you yeah. Have? So Akkad Bakkad, like, it was just a random rhyme with no words. So I told my uh, my artist, my brother, Laddi, and I was like, I want Laddi, I want you to write a song and it doesn't need to make any sense. Just rhyme that goes with the beat and goes with the drop. Because if you put lyrics behind it and if you give a lyrical meaning to it, when people are watching the song, they'll start sort of visualizing what you're singing. I don't want people to visualize what you're singing. I just want them to focus on the shot. So we wrote this song, Akkad Bakkad, and we dubbed it. So that song wasn't planned. It wasn't even, we didn't even think of that song in the movie. And it's one of the funniest sequences. And it's totally improv. And the music is amazing. Uh, the song is amazing. And I'm actually looking forward to that sequence in particular well coming down to storyline this uh, you know lali is a character who's actually trying to you know persuade dad just for his own love interest yeah as well. yeah true so you know how uh irrelatable do you think this will be because this is not something which literally yeah. happens see the idea is key what happens initially is the laddi wants to get married or lali wants to get married and lali Lali's girlfriend's father says that if you want to get married, you have to come with us because we are moving to Canada. And he can't leave his father because he's he, he his it's a, he's son of a single father, and if he leaves his father, he'll be all by himself. So the servant of the house, who he calls Chacha, goes, "Why don't you find another mom? Your dad will get busy, and you can go to Canada." Then so he started, you know, manipulating his father to get married. And what happens next, you'll figure out on this 22nd of April. Well, uh, Sanjida and Sunita Ji, who are also with this, have they kind of uh, uh, known of these facts? And how was their reaction to all of this nonsense I think, happening? I now? think um, Sangeeta ma'am was game. Like, she was game. She enjoyed everything. She was so, like, easy to work with. Her dialogues. Like, she was so much fun to work with. Like, m with Sanjida, we were still contemporaries in terms of, you know, we are similar age, we are similar background, similar lifestyle. 
so we have a lot in common so we are like good friends i wasn't expecting sing, uh, sing, uh, sunita ma'am to be like so like you know up with it like so new school it was fun working with her and then she was really like she was she was understanding her line like she 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 got the mood and she killed it well lastly uh, the song yet isn't out but then the one that you have sung can you mm. kind of just you know i can't i i i, I can't cuz that kills the whole vibe of the song but it just just a few more days i think by the time this interview gets telecast the, the song would be out the name of the song is akkad bakkad so do watch out and do watch the song you could sing a bit live it live it please okay. it, it it's going to kill the mood of the song trust me what's the song you know what i'm saying okay. thank you thank so you much. very much for having me thanks a lot